Well, I think the limitations or the constraints that people talk about most often are the absence of face-to-face -face interaction and the loss of the dynamics that accompany face-to-face -face interaction. People are concerned about uh, the possibility of miscommunications that might arise from, for example, the absence of nonverbal communication or body language. Um, but we know from research and we know from practical experience that uh, students are able to learn in this environment, that they find uh, threaded discussion, for example, or online asynchronous discussion more o open, more equitable, more participatory, and uh, they feel they learn a lot from it. So if we look at constraints that are associated with the absence of face-to-face -face interaction, it kind of assumes that it's necessary, and, and I'm not sure that that's true. The other thing to think about when you talk about constraints around the absence of face-to-face -face interaction are, will they always be there? Um, there are new technologies coming online. There's much easier ways to uh, use video, for example. And I think as we go forward, we're going to see a lot more of the dynamics of classroom instruction that are included in online courses.